सो हेलो फोक्स वेलकम टू आई सी एफ एंड दिस फ्रेंड फ्रंट ऑफ यू इज द टोयटा कैमरी फॉर द कोर्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल भी टेलिंग यू एवरी थिंग अबाउट द कार ऑन द डिज़ाइन एस्पेक्ट एंड हाउ डज इट फील ऑन द इन साइड बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट द इंजन परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दिस कार एंड हाउ डज इट परफॉर्म यू विल हैव टू वेट फॉर आर फुली इंडेप रिव्यू नाउ बिफोर आई प्रोसीड लेट मी रिक्वेस्ट यू दैट प्लीज़ लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स आर चैनल इज़ फेयरली न्यूज हो आई वुड रियली अप्रिशिएट इफ यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एज वेल नाउ विद दैट बींग सेट लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द फ्रंट ऑफ द कार As you can see, it gets Bison on LED headlights with LED DRS and turn indicators. It looks fairly premium and very sleek in my opinion. The grille is also very crisp and very short. The bigger air dams uh, can be seen lower on the bumper below. Here are some C-shaped uh, design elements with chrome surrounds, of course. And lower we also get projector fog lamps. These are LEDs, of course. And we get the blue tinge on the Toyota logo, just to let you know that it's a hybrid. Overall, the front is very sharp and very unique. The bonnet is also very sharp. Gets two power bulges on the sides. <coughs> here we have the hybrid badging, and here are 18-inch alloy wheels, which get 235-45 R18 section tires. As you can see, these are the turn indicators, who are mounted on the wheel beams along with the chrome surround. It also gets some fins for some aerodynamic efficiency. I don't know. how much they work but that's that now around the side profile uh, the camera is fairly long i cannot even fit it in the frame as per now this is a total side profile of the car it is slightly turned in and quite filthy as well so pardon me for that but again you get the hybrid badging here and these ovms also get chrome surrounds along with led turn indicators we get a sharp chrome surrounded window line it extends till the back of the car and this is the rear profile it gets a fuel tank here now in my honest opinion the best looks of the camry turns out to be at the back the rear profile of the sedan is simply impeccable and it looks really sharp here as you can see these are the led tail lights with a facelift toyota also darkened up the overall cluster as so these look really sporty and get the blacked out elements Here we have the Camry badging spread across the boot, along with the Toyota logo. There it gets the blue tinge, the famous blue tinge, and here we also get the hybrid badging. These are the LED indicators along with the LED tail lights. Now, if I open up the boot, that is, in my opinion, fairly large. As you can see, it's around close to 520 liters, and you also get a through opening just to take out your nicks and nicks from the cabin inside. And if you lift it up, you get a full size spare wheel. That is not visible. from here because it's a cover uh, over it and these are the tool kit uh, for your jack and everything else as you can see it's fairly large uh, it is a electromagnetic but you cannot uh, push a button to close it you have to do it manually so that's a cost cutting there and the only cost cutting i can find in this car here is a look at the brake profile again and i as, as i told you earlier it looks fairly sharp and fairly unique and it stands out on the road as well It doesn't feel like a low-end Toyota. It has a premium appeal, and everybody looks at the car as a very premium sedan and not a budget low-end car. Now, if I step on the inside, you have to just grab this handle, and the car will open. That's a capacitive sensor there, and this is a dashboard layout. Now, of course, I will go inside the car to tell you all about its features. But here is a good look at the seats. Both the seats are ventilated and very well contoured. This is a dashboard layout. Gets very premium materials on the outside, draped leather, soft touch materials on the upper portion, and we get stitched leather on the lower part of the dashboard. This is the layout. And now let's get on the inside to tell you everything about the Camry. So as you can see, this is the cabin layout of the Toyota Camry. On the center, we get a nine-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Earlier, it used to be an eight-inch unit. With the update, the Camry got a bigger touch screen along with the functionality of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay mind you it gets a wired functionality not the wireless one so even if you have a wireless charging pad over here you cannot fully use it because you are anyway are supposed to use a cable to work with the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay this is the instrument cluster of the car it gets a center screen along with two dials on the left we get a charging eco and power Uh, modes on the right we get the speedometer along with the fuel gauge now the camry doesn't get a i'd say analog tachometer but if you were to check the engine rpms you will have to look at the hud 
here you will get the engine speed, a compass along with the engine RPMs and whenever you change the mode, whenever you go through the music and shuffle the volume, you will always get some indication there. So that's a nice touch. Here we get the automatic headlamps and here we get the automatic wipers. We also get pedal shifters in the Camry along with cruise control here and controls for the media here. One cool trick up the sleeves of the Camry is a electric adjustment for the steering. So it gets both rake and reach. This is a steering wheel draped in very soft leather. And these are the two cup holders the car gets. Beneath the cup holders are the controls for ventilation. And if I share more about these, uh, these get the suction type ventilation and not the blow type. So in the Korean cars, the ventilation system blows air to your back and bum, but here these suck the air, ambient air, just to give you a cool breeze. And this is a gear shifter, it gets P, R, N, D in the sports mode of course. You can obviously take manual control with the pedal shifters. Here we have three modes, those are eco, normal and sport, along with the EV mode and auto hold. In the EV mode, the car will drive solely on battery power, but that doesn't last long because the car has a all electric range of around 2 to 3 kilometers only. Here we of course have the electric parking brake. And this is a humongous armrest. It isn't cooled sadly, but it has ample of space to keep your cans and everything. And as you can see, this is a very premium leather it posted in the dashboard. Atop the dashboard also get some soft touch elements and these are the chrome finish on the dashboard. The glove box is lockable and it comes with a damped function. As you can see the opening is fairly large and the space on the inside is great too. Over here we get the electric boss mode that I would like to call it. In the safari and other cars we get it too. Just in a bit to give you more space on the back you can always shuffle these modes to lend more space. Over here we get a small electric sunroof which also gets the slide function and the tilt function. It opens up in a large opening and here we have the light controls. The lights on the cabin are LEDs and sadly the blind for the electric sunroof doesn't uh, close it automatically. You will have to put it down manually. Here we have the controls for the electric fuel lid release and the boot, re boot release. The traction control button can be found here as well and there is a neat storage around here where you can put your change and some tool receipts which I have done of course and from here you can open the bonnet of the car now if I start with the rear profile uh, let me tell you that the one touch operation for the door unlock doesn't work here you have to unlock the car to open the gate this is the rear door of the car and here we have uh, the manual sun blinds just to keep the sun away and this is the space on the inside these are the power window controls and the door handle. The cup holders in this car are not really large. So you will only be able to stuff around half liter bottles, not more than that. Now if I step on the inside, as you can see the space is fairly generous. I get good amount of underside support. And thanks to the sun blinds, I get a nice cozy feeling inside. The sunroof doesn't extend to the very back. But again, that is not needed because the seat upholstery in this car is really light. This is a boss mode I told you earlier with which you can increase or decrease the backrest angle and also move the seat ahead and behind. These are the rear AC vents and you also get 2.1 2 2 MPS sockets for USB charging. We get seat back pockets and the seats here are leatherette. We also get the JBL sound system and the sun blind goes also here. We get a a grab handle along with a tow hook and on the doors also we get some soft leather upholstery and these soft touch materials really feel premium as you can see these are the seats kind of captain chairs in my opinion and this center armrest produces a lot more so third passenger in here won't be very welcome the hump on the center is also fairly large so you cannot actually seat three people in comfort. Two plus one is doable in my opinion. Now this is a party trick of the Toyota Camry. Firstly, let's start with the basics first. It gets a normal cup holder. You can stuff two cups of coffee or small bottles in here. Now if I turn on this button, you will see the overall controls of the car. Firstly, you can toggle through the third zone of the for the climate control. 
with this you can increase or decrease your temperature you can also shuffle through the channels for the music and the track and the volume you can also move the shade the rear shade up and down there is one touchable button the rear shade goes down if i press it again the shade will go up now here's a party trick of the car you can increase or decrease the backrest angle in the car electromagnetically with just one touch of a button i can move the seat back and forth just to get myself in absolute comfort and this is a leather uh, wrapped armrest so it's very uh, soft touch but it doesn't open to give you more space and here we also get a through loading so if i move this down i can access the boot easily so that's again a very nifty touch one premium touch in the toyota camry is that the seats extend to the very side it gets side bolstering as well so you will feel very comfortable if you are seating three people abreast nonetheless as you can see this is the overall cabin space here we have the led map lights and that's the sr air srs airbag the car comes with the overall nine airbags so safety front you are all covered with a toyota camry at the back we also get a jbl sound system as you can see this is a subwoofer and we get isofix anchorages as well so overall as you can see the ambience of the cabin is simply astonishing and this is the best rear view experience you can get under 50 lakh rupees the likes of the bmw 3 series or the mercedes c class doesn't give you this kind of experience at the back of course they are more performance oriented but if you want to have a really impeccable chauffeur driven experience the camry is a perfect car in the market